one of my viewers had asked if we wanted to convert this programmatic approach to routing to a file system based routing strategy in a React Router version 7 application, would we have to install an external NPM package to accomplish that? The answer, of course, is a resounding no. Because starting with version 7, React Router comes out of the box with the ability to root via a file based routing system via this package here. If you use one of the command line tools provided by React Router or Vite to spin up your application, then by default for framework mode, your app is set up using programmatic routing. However, if you wish to switch over to file system-based routing, then you will have to install the React Router file system routes package after the fact. Now, it says NPM here, but certainly you can install it with PNPM, which is the uh, preferred way to install that package. The easiest way to find a documentation for file-based routing is to do the search for it. You might get two or three hits back, but certainly that's an option for you, or you can just watch my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a React Router version 7 framework mode application with programmatic routing, as you can see before you. Now, this is the app that was created in the video tutorial for framework mode. And here is the application deployed to Cloudflare and in the browser. It is a complete server-side rendering application. Go ahead and install the file system roots package from React Router. In programmatic routing, we explicitly declare our roots in code with functions like index and root. And then we connect this logic with our folder structure inside of the roots directory, as you can see here in the case of products for fetching the entire products collection, fetching a single product, and then adding a new product. And then I have a catch all, which is a splat. In the case where we handle a 404, that is not handled by the error boundary in the root root. This index file here that sits outside of the products directory is our welcome page. That will be this page here. Now, I know that you guys would rather watch my videos than having to read through the documentation, but just as a gentle reminder, what I'm teaching in this video can also be found in the documentation. Let's start in the roots file. I've commented out the O code so that you can use it as a frame of reference for the new code. We still need the root config because we still need that type to satisfy our root config. But then we will import in the flat roots from the file system roots package from React Router. And then we are telling the root configuration that we will be using the flat root function, which was destructured from the FS 
root package from React Router that we imported. This function automatically generate our root configuration based on the file structure that is inside of our root directory. The flat root function does use naming conventions to do its work, one of which is to have an underscore in front of the index root. Therefore, I have prepended the main index root with an underscore. And that is the extent of the changes we need for this file. The catch all root is considered a dynamic segment technically. And in file based routing, dynamic, se dynamic segments are indicated by a dollar sign. So therefore, I will rename the catch all file to just a dollar sign. Dot TSX. We no longer need to house these three code files within the products directory. Instead, what we would do is we would rename these three files, since they belong to the products group, as products dot yada 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 now as an example to drive the point home if these three files were associated with cities then i would rename these three files to cities dot yada 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 so again index root must have an underscore in front of it therefore i'm calling this index root for products products dot underscore index and dynamic segments, being dynamic, must be prefixed by a dollar sign. And as you can see here, I remove the square brackets. It's just dollar sign ID. And then we remove those files out of the products directory and then go ahead and delete that directory because we no longer need that. We are done. So let's test out the app in the browser. Landing page. Products page. Got a 10 products back. Individual product. Let's go add product. All right. Everything still works. So that was relatively painless. I will caution though that before you go and switch from programmatic routing over to file based routing, please make sure you understand what you're getting yourself into. Make sure you understand the business need and the technical need. All right. Have fun. Thank you for watching please consider subscribing to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, a like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.